It's fine. Oh my god, this is broken. Like, what the <laughs> Oh my god, this is absolutely ridiculous. What? I'm already... This is my board? Man, we just started the game. It's turn 4. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today I hope you are not a sensitive person because what will happen to our opponent is so brutal that you probably want to close your eyes. Man! I knew Invasion of Alara was great, I knew it's crazy, but man, after I've seen this card in action, it was just ridiculous. It does not feel fair for our opponent. You get so much stuff, so much value, and this whole shell is so oppressive if, if you get the good draw. It's, it's insane. Uh, basically, all the games we lost is like mana screw, otherwise we just absolutely dominate. So, this is the deck. We had two versions. Uh, they are only differentiated by the Blood Tithe Harvester, and I've been trying this uh, battle, the group butter uh, invasion of ergama so you might see it in some of the games uh, it doesn't feel great because you with harvester you have the power to crack the battles uh, with the other one you just you know go behind and you have more battles to crack so back what the deck is about let's start with this one it's about cracking invasion of alara basically and doing five colored crazy things that absolutely go over the top and beyond so what we are doing uh, we are having a lot of lands, we try to fix them with Vorak and Fable and Blood Tithe Harvester because of the blood token. And then we try to go into Talia and the Gitrock monster, or you know, just the good old Temper. But usually it's Talia, because Talia has this great ability, which is 4 mana, 4-4, four, four, first strike death touch. So generally when you have Talia, nothing can battle her. It's the same as Glissa, right? But you still can instantly play additional land. And when you can start attacking with this, you can sacrifice the land that is tapped, draw another one and double play two lands a turn. That's pretty crazy and it really can be felt during the game. Also creatures and non-basic lands your opponent control enters the battlefield tapped, which is great because you want to be attacking and the battles needs to be cracked, right? So you need to keep attacking them. And with Talia on the offense, you're, you know exactly what will block on the next turn, right? Because new creatures are tapped, you know exactly that there's only one creature from before that he can use to block. Uh, for Invasion of Alara, I, I won't read the card, you probably know it, but basically you exile cards from the top until you hit two cards with four mana or less value, and then you choose one of them, it's for free in the battlefield, the second one goes to the hand. And the Maelstrom basically draws you cards, makes a copy of something, destroys one, creature uh, or permanent your opponent controls including land but it's usually a creature and you get some counters so you get so much stuff that you just get you know value storm uh, we have invasion of chandalar as well five mana that we can basically get three times something from the graver it has to be a permanent but it's fine because battles are permanent so this is one card that absolutely refills you for the rest of the game uh, other than this we have also invasion of fiora this is something we can crack from the battle because it only has four defense and still gives you a, an extremely powerful creature that can keep cracking other battles as well but still, it's just a sweeper. At some point, you might want to sweep if you fall behind, if you get, you know, mana screwed, or you just cannot play on curve perfectly. So, with that being said, uh, don't forget to subscribe. It not only helps me, but if you don't want to miss the videos, or, you know, you don't want to check out when the video is published, you can always do this bell, subscribe, and YouTube will do it for you. So it's easier for everyone, and you help the channel. So that's super cool. And thank you for anyone who did it. Thank you for uh, all the comments, and that you are here daily. You are extremely appreciated and I want you to know it. So with that being said, let's go into this craziness and destroy some opponents, right? All right, we are going second. So we have very good try runs, but still on the draw. So we'll see, we'll see. Our opponent is slow as well. So we will have a battle, that will be for sure. And yeah, when we activate the ley line for one mana, we should be kind of okay. So we start with this one. This one will be tapped on the next turn, and we need one white mana for the ley line. So if we started with this one, we would be absolutely unhappy. And that's all I'm gonna say. Alright, what are you? Deals combat damage to a player, surveil one, then you may return to the battlefield. Oh, that's scary. Please, please don't get land. So that explains this land. Man, they have 
some instant crazy value. We are, I'm happy we had one mana remover for this one. All right, no counter spells. So what is best? Is this remover of, of core man? Why do I even ask? It's always fable. Like when you think about tree drop, you are indeed thinking about the fable. There is no other way. So even if they have removal, you still get so much value. So what is the next play? I honestly think this and this, like, I don't think we'll run out of value, man. This is pretty good, though. But I need to hit the land. I can use the Vorak, but, you know, there are easier ways. First, we attack. Because that could trigger a removal. It did not. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god, this is broken! Like, what the <laughs> Oh my god, this is absolutely ridiculous. What? I'm already... This is my board? Man, we just started the game, it's turn 4. What's going on? Alright, I expected this to be good, but when I see it in action... Like, what? <laughs> like, what? Poor guy just played a 2-drop, and we are here with this. Alright, that's a Nessa, but she dies to, you know, my one mana removal. Alright, we probably have this game won, right? If we play it smart. If we play it smart. So we could play Invasion of Alara again, but it can be dicey. We might miss. So I think what we actually do is play this. Kill this. Uh, we were. I mean, let's buff so we can. After the board swipe, we can go again. And we'll, let's go like this. So, Nissa is dead. We get the treasure. Oh, we get the treasure, man. If I play land, I can still do it? Are you real? Oh my god, this deck is ridiculously broken, man. Like, how is he supposed to deal with all of this stuff? Oh my god. Let's see what we hit. Yeah, sure. More creatures, more lands. And I still have Double Bang Buster to refill if anything goes wrong. Oh my god, that's uh, that's more than I expected from the deck, man. Like, poor guy. <laughs> he just wants to play magic. <laughs> Alright, so here's a sweeper. That's why we didn't uh, minus Emperor on the last turn. And we can just do it all over again, right? Can we play this? No. Not yet. Alright, let's create a creature. Let's create some Vorax and we'll play the Bangbuster so we can start attacking with haste. Alright. I mean, that's a pretty. Oh my god, we can actually increase the defense. I did not think about it. So, of course, if I knew that I will win, I would play the Bangbuster first. But, you know, that's not exactly what you expect from your deck. So, four cards against all of this. I wonder how it will go. No idea. Even in... Man, I don't even fear Invoke Despair. I just sacrifice this, this, and this, and, like, wh what are you doing with your mana? Easy, bro. And sure, I will do exactly as I said, because here on this channel, we are serious about our declarations. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> if we draw a creature with haste, uh, can we play this? Still not, right? 7 mana. Uh, close. Close, but not enough. Uh, so instead, we could still cycle. You know what? I'll roll the dice. If I can flip this, the game should be over, right? Uh, let's play this invasion. This is actually also pretty nice. And let's go for the throat. I didn't see any creatures so far, so let's go like this. And let's screw... Well, if we attack for three, this is a treasure, right? So we can draw a card. So I, I think it's worth it. And it's not like we're flipping on this turn, right? Man, when you don't fear invoke despair because it's too little value, you know you are on a good track. See? Like this wayfinder. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I, I kind of feel bad for my opponent. But the battle is still on. But I'm not sure how he will trigger any of this, to be honest. Especially after we heard migration. Like, he needs, a, again, a sweeper. He already played one. So I don't think he has two mana more. I guess for the heart migration, we are not guaranteed to, to do it. But I will burn the treasure. I think it's worth it. I just want to hit 
to uh, you know start hitting cool cards and that will be enough that's indeed a three power creature that i needed and let's go for this one because it's untapped so we can get some cool mana we crew of this one <laughs> it does not feel fair at all man i'm actually baffled how good this is like look at this value we'll also kill only thing he has going for him i draw some cards I kill my opponent's bank buster. <laughs> All right, I draw some cards. Uh, sure, I will put the artifact. What do you have in stock for me? Choose a permanent. I copy something. <laughs> like, yeah. What's the point? I would copy Vorak probably just to hit land drops and keep going. Like we were not even out of value. We just started, man. That was man. That was dominating. All right, we are going second. Man, I want to be first, but. With Talia we should be able to ramp a little bit harder than usually. So we start with this one so we can activate the Leyline line Binding. Man, this card is absolutely insane. The fact that you can have all the tap lands and still go so aggressive is just so great. Alright. It doesn't really do anything yet, but it might. Especially if we go for the other creature. Awaken the woods for one? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. I mean, that's interesting. He's down to four cards. I, I, I guess he really wants the ramp, right? So, I mean, that's my role. I need to deny all things that my opponent wants. And we're getting close to an Alara invasion, so that should help. We'll see. The Gitrock monster. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Uh, that's a that's a night eight, you know. However, you can have a night eight, but I have a first striker death touch with ramp, so I mean you do the math. Uh, let's see if they have some kind of removal because if they if they do not, they cannot attack us ever with mono green. <laughs> that's so mean. I love it. Invasion. Man, also the fact that creatures are tapped they make them makes them such an easy target for the Emperor. Uh, Fable always good. Plants pretty good. I mean, we could start attacking. Can we take twelve damage to the face? I honestly will, man. No fear, and we can s sacrifice something. I guess we go for this one. You know what? Maybe you go for planes. We have two of them, and maybe, maybe we can play something on this turn, right? I think we played only one land, and we can play two. See? Hashtag good place, hopefully. And now he farewells in green. <laughs> All right, two cards to go. I think he will be in some serious trouble. All right, that's a lot of damage, man. I mean, that's a lot of damage. So we take so much, but still, uh, do we discard anything? Vorak, Vorak is okay, right? It lets us flip the, the Alara. I, I'm happy with my cards. Honestly, it, those are really good cards. Let's see if we hit untapped land. Not exactly. We can play it still. We have another chance anyway. We activate the Bang Buster. We crew this. Alright, we attack like this. So, we can absolutely crack the battle. Uh, blue. So, we can get rid of the blue now. Oh, that's a card. So, this will win us on the next turn, right? We're at 14. Alright, he gets the free block. But we got the stuff, man. And the stuff is pretty good. So let's draw two cards. Uh, I destroy this because it's super annoying with this 10 10. Uh, artifact? Sure. Permanent I control. No. That seems pretty nice. And let's go for some counters. I'm not sure where to be honest. Talia kills everything anyway. So I mean, let's go here maybe. And now I can remove this and I don't lose even a creature. <laughs> oh my god. And this deck. This freaking deck. And we can steal Emperor. Because why not? 
Why the hell not? The fact that you can copy ley line binding is pretty insane, man. Emperor? Man, he won't even get us to 10. He's so out of this game. Oh my god. Like 10 10 against this deck, it doesn't matter even, man. And Talia was really. Like, she was carrying this game super hard. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 14 14, we don't care. It's it's a big dead creature, alright? That's the point. It's not legend. Oh my god, it's not legendary. That's even more funny. Oh! <laughs> so, let's destroy non legendary creatures. Like, you are not special, so you will die. And now I will pump my Talia. Uh, play the land so I can sacrifice it. And she also ramps you in a different way that you cycle the lands, right? So let's get rid of the swamp because we just played a new swamp. We get the battle. Now we get the. What is it called? Marchisa. Alright, like, you are part of the team right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 14 14. Don't make me laugh, bro. Alright, going second, we have go for the throat into Vorak. We would definitely be prefer to be on the play, but you know, it's it's okay kinda. So Leyline Binding won't be activated yet. Never mind, scrap that. <laughs> Easiest one mana perfect removal of my life. And that's a flash gorge. Sure. This is for sure that so we might kill it as well, right? We play the ward, gladly. Flesh Gorger is great, but Trespasser hurts way more. And let's start doing something. We definitely need to draw our value cards. Right now we don't have them. I mean, yeah, those those value cards. At least we didn't whiff on the lands, so that's something. But we have a lot of them. Like, we have 7 lands in 11 cards, so that's a bit on the rough spot. This is definitely good. Alright. Oh, removal. Very nice. Moment before Talia and the Gitrock monster will come into the battlefield. They cannot answer this. And let's play another round. We can run very quickly with this one. And hopefully we can burn some of the stuff. So we will kill Shorded. Yeah, fortunately for him, he has all the basics, right? Creatures and non-basic runs. So we would, he wouldn't be able, but of course it's mono black, so they do not care. Still... We could go for Invasion, but I really prefer this one. That's honestly a really good combination, right? One thing we need to consider, when this dies to invoke the spare, he gets the full worm, so let's be prepared with Invasion. Like, if this surprises you, uh, bad things will happen. Cruelty. They usually go for Chapter 1, they, like they cannot resist just checking my hand. And unfortunately, my hand is empty, bro. No, not a creature. Just a casual thing. <laughs> oh boy, he won't like it. So do I go Bosejo? What is my next turn play? That's important. Uh, I have only two permanents. I could go for Bosejo, right? Then he, we ramp him a little bit. I think it's fine. I mean, I should do it at the end step, but it's fine. Like, if he plays more into the board, that's actually good for us. And the point is that we can get all those cards back, right? Invasion of Chandelier. One permanent, second permanent, and the third permanent. That seems pretty cool. <laughs> pretty darn cool. Uh, do we do something to the Shardet? I don't think there's any difference, honestly. Like, we have removal here, so if he plays the other shoulder, that is probably more scary. I mean, that's a bridge the multiverse out of nowhere. Alright, so let's see. Planeswalkers are really hard for us to deal with. Creatures are no, not a problem at all. So he just gets a land. So in this particular case, it didn't work at all for him. We just kill the stuff. Uh, we don't have mana for creature. Unfortunately, that would be super cool. Yeah, let's go for it. And let's do the sweeper thing. Let's play Boseju because then we can draw a card with Bangbuster. And we say go. Only two cards left. 
Trespasser. Good card, but not good enough. Exactly. Like, he's so outvalued, we didn't even crack the battles. So on the next turn we would play, like, any of those creatures. Screw the Bankbuster, yep. Screw the Bankbuster and start hitting those battles. And man, when we flip them, he's so... He has only one card in the end. Alright, guys, this will be one of those games. Aether Perfect or absolute horrible dumpster fire. So we just need to hit the red mana at some point. Preferably on this turn, but okay. It doesn't have to be this one, this turn. We can do it again later. All right, it's getting scary. Maybe that wasn't the best decision of my life in the end. We don't even have black mana for, for this one. And we play quite a lot of lands, but we surely miss them quite often. All right, that's something. A removal, but not for this. Man, double invasion, double fable, but we're still going strong. And our opponent is here just casting a 3 mana 2 ones. Let's see if that's enough to win against the opponent that cannot play his lands. I honestly think that we need to reduce the maximum damage. This way we have the most time to hit our stuff. And when we get the fable going, it will be much easier. What is this? Oh, he... Alright, this card. See? Easy. Never didn't have it. <laughs> Absolutely, game was not decided on this this card draw. Alright, we have Emperor on the next turn, so we are definitely behind, as usually. But we can absolutely get there, I feel. So it can be Harvester into Leyline, it also can be Harvester into Blood Token. I like the Fableman so much. It fixes so many problems for us. We also get the ramp. You know what? Man, it's Fable. It's just Fable, especially that if we play correct Trium or, you know, land, we can fix the Leyline Binding and we can get back a little bit of mana. So all in all, that gives us so much tempo. He's Orzhov, so Goblin might die. But so far he's more of a defensive player and instead of aggressive. Like the life gain, all the stuff, he needs some kind of combo to make it into aggressive one. Four damage a turn is something we can absolutely take for now. Especially that we have so many powerful cards, so I think it should be okay. Seraph. Alright. Well, I guess it's an angel in the end, right? Alright, we definitely need to start cycling some stuff. Omnath, absolutely way too slow right now. Okay, that's a land. We don't have a blue one, so indeed, this will be a discount. And we can even go for Invasion of Alara. Is that too slow right now? Alright, alright, alright. I think I know. Playline Binding on the Steel Seraph. Attack with a little Goblin. We could also attack, this would block, and then we do it. But I actually want to bait some more blocks, if it's possible. Alright, it's not. It's fine. So we can play the Emperor to get rid of the Giada. Or we can draw, go absolutely over the top with Invasion, and I think that's the play. We can still hit the Emperor if we, if we are very good at magic. See? So good at magic, man. <laughs> Just pure skill all around. If he's unhappy, he has a good reason, because that was really lucky draw. You don't really, like, check for four drops. It's just any card that will match this criteria of non-land card with mana value four or less. We have quite a lot of those. So we already have Emperor here, so the chance to hit the, the second one was extremely low, to be honest. But we got there. Very, very good player. <laughs> right. And now he also needs uh, to defend the Alara battle. And that makes things so much more interesting. As you can see, he just ignores the face damage because of the life gain, but you cannot defense gain so easily. All right, so the token and some scrying, because he also has some issues with the mana. And we we really try to help him, because Giada is a land in a way, so you really want to remove it. That's why we played like this. Otherwise, I could just go ha double harvester and so on and just set up for the rest of the game. Alright, that's a good, good land. Also from the top. 
Alright, how do we do it? Uh, we probably attack, right? I think you cannot go wrong with just smoking the battle. I honestly don't think I played Emperor to save it. I think it's not worth it. Goblin already did so much work. I played the land, right? Sure. Let's invade some more Alaras, I guess. <laughs> so what will be the lucky card this time? Just a little bit of gambling. Uh, do we need more value? I think if we can go hard on tempo and crack the battles, we don't need more value. So we are going like this. We are going Bangbuster. Because it will be a haste creature with a 4-4, so a bit better than the Harvester and it's the same mana cost. I don't need to remove their stuff because they will remove it themselves just to protect the battles, right? Yep. So he sh he probably will like it. And this is this is what I mean about the battles. Like, look, he's a 28. He can absolutely ignore all the face damage in the world, but he cannot ignore attacks on the Alara. And suddenly he needs to be defensive because he loses the value game. And like the battles make this so much more interesting, man. Man, I like my cards. I actually like my cards. I will use only one cycling here. Because maybe I got something better. Alright. Uh, I should play this first probably, but it's fine. Let's go with the Harvester. Let's actually be smart for once about it. We use the Harvester here. Now we get rid of, you know, something that has more attack. Alright. Now we can crew the Bangbuster with this one. And I mean, first strike is the is the way to go, right? So if he doesn't block because he feels it's just 6 damage and not enough to crack the battle. Yeah, so I guess we play the Emperor then. We don't need to super defend and the fact that we can save the, the Goblin is really good. They cannot pressure us because then we can attack the battles. So they are in big pickle and we already removed four defense. I think when we crack it, the game is kind of over. So he he actually can beat 28, but when he loses this three life here, the game is absolutely over. All right, yeah, I think he's too behind. So the early game was really rough for both of us, but we navigated and we have so many things like Fable that can cycle the land. So it's much easier for us. All right. I just want to crack the battle, man. Just give me. Uh, we cannot go for the throat on the big target, but we can do it on something else. So he should attack with Vigilance the Emperor. Oh, he went for two of them. That's really good because we can remove the first one and we crack the battle. Yeah, this will be... He will explode on this turn. So, we kill this one. Yep, that's a good game, my friend. Now we make a copy of the Harvester. We create a blood token. We kill this one with minus six. And now we crawl with, I mean, whatever. And I'm trying to play fast before he scoops, you know? Because he's really nice. He allows us to do the stuff. And we need to respect it. <laughs> oh no, we will kill the last land he has. Oh, that's, that's so epic. We draw a card. We kill the land. Oh boy, that's so brutal. Permanent, I control. I mean, I like more kikijikis. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I'm trying as fast as possible. Uh, distribute the counters. All right, good. We did We did the thing. We play Bosejo. We play this. And I mean, our board is pretty good. Uh, whatever. Just go fast before he scoops. And he's really allowing us all the cool fun, so we have to appreciate it. And yeah, at this point, the game, we, we kind of know it's over. We can actually destroy one land a turn, and he can play one land a turn. But yeah, that was that was an interesting one for sure. Yeah, I wish he hit a bit more lands, but you know, what can you do? We, we, we are on the same side of the fence at some point. All right, so he played quite a lot of creatures. 
And we don't have legendary creatures, so for this reason we can exile this one. He gains a little bit of life. Yeah, it's good that he's cooped at this point, because like it will take like two or three turns to just kill him, but he's just out of the game.